My dog is a huge part of my family. It's just me and him. So that's a family. That's why when it comes to keeping Lego safe, happy, and secure, I knew that Halo Collar was the only collar I would use. Freedom! Halo is the only smart system with a collar that trains, tracks, and protects your dog so they can safely run free. You can set up Halo fences by walking the perimeter with your collar or at the touch of your finger in the Halo app. It trains with natural, simple, profound communication via the custom feedback you set for your dog. It can even include your voice. Check out the 90 second video on shophalocollar.com slash super to see how easy it is to set up and use. I love rewarding Lego after he's done a good job training with his collar. I give him treats and it makes it fun. God love the collar. Take advantage of this special offer today. Save 20% on your Halo Collar by going to shophalocollar.com slash super. That's shophalocollar.com slash super to save 20%. That's aggressive. Leighton is flicking me off. I, I just want that for the record. He is. Ryan. I saw it. I watched it. He's doing it again. He's doing it again. Why are you, why are you fucking lying? He's, he's flicking me off Leighton, again. who do you think the people are going to trust? Okay. Probably someone that doesn't fuck with people constantly I don't all fuck the time with for like multiple years over YouTube. I don't fuck with you anyone. You guys are constantly lying and shit. No, we don't. Ryan. I love everyone listening. Ryan. We don't lie. Ryan. I love you, man. He's looking me off again. Why yes. not? Put it down, Layden. Shut the door. Put the finger down. Shut the door. You guys are really mean to me. Do you smell... I didn't put on any deodorant today. I didn't either. And so I, I think I we're, tell. we're both in the clear. Okay. So... In terms of... Well, we can. I can see the thing is like, your bo smells very different from my bo, so I can tell when it's mine. You know. Do you know what does my bo smell like? You put it well. It smells like the like the seasoned taco beef. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where mine smells more like the onions of the taco. <laughs> okay. You know. Like. Yeah. No. Mine smells like. <laughs> my bo tends to smell more like onions, bro. And yours. Your smells like just like the. Wait. Once you said the taco beef thing that one time, and I sniffed your armpit and smelled it like. It's kind of sweet, it, isn't it? Yeah, it just it's like made, a sweet smell. That's mine is like that too. It just made me like feel so ill. <laughs> just like thinking of something I like. And then like, <laughs> I was like, oh, God. Hey, that's life, baby. You want to get a sniff of this? I can bring it over. If you want to bring it over, because I'm already so comfortable. Check this out, bro. Get up in there. See, it just smell. I just smell like it. Just smell fab fabric softener. What? Really? Yeah. I only smelled your shirt. I think. <sighs> well. Just imagine you've you've you you've you're sautéing some onions, Imagining and it sliced right it. You know, put them together. You got a good taco. So Matt, what are the hip and happen topics of this week? Uh, uh, what what, oh what have you seen that God. that's hip and happening? It's July twenty twenty one. Uh, this July sixth twenty twenty one. We just observed well, Independence not, Day. Not like what the hell is that? The garage door is opening. Do we need to close this window? Wind you? Uh, we could, but I don't know. It's kind of nice little breeze in here. It is. I think. I they do I these shores aren't. Need... They're not. They're not omnidirectional. They're not going to pick up. Who cares? You're man? Putting some noise canceling in post after. Yeah, you know? that's true. I, I, I like. I kind of like hearing the birds outside. Me too. But what's happening this week? Fourth uh, of July happened. That's right. Um, a lot of fireworks went off. Oh, so many, dude! Like, it sounded like a war zone outside. Like, you, usually it does, but this year. My mom said she had to go inside because they got to a point where it reminded her of when she was in Lebanon. Damn. She was like, nah, I've had enough. It, like, it, it sounds like it sounds like war. It's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, did it sound like did it really sound like that? She's like, sometimes. I'm like, damn. Yeah, imagine like living somewhere and you're just like laying in bed and you could just hear in the distance just like <laughs> think yeah, she told me she had to like some nights sleep under the table with Whoa. like her siblings and stuff. Really? Mm-hmm. Because bombs were going off. There's a bomb that went off across the street from her. It was in the apartment building over. It was a guy. I think the story was it was a guy making a bomb and then he just blew himself up <laughs> accidentally. I don't mean to laugh at that. That's just like. Well, he was going to use it to blow someone up. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> so, it's, that's kind of karmatic, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know, that's God going, okay, buddy. Okay. R word. <laughs> I'm kidding. My favorite subreddit. <laughs> yeah. What a. Hey, you, Is you that know, subreddit still around? Yeah. I have a friend that. No way. Sends me memes from it like every week. You think that I would never be, respond, that would have been but one of the ones that like got taken down cuz you know how a whole slew of them got taken mm -hmm. down. That I'm big, not I, a big chopping block when they axe yeah. all those subreddits. Cuz then they take 
they didn't take Mega sixty four. They took down the some podcast. What was the Chap- pod- Chapo Chapo? Tra- they took yeah, down yeah. Chapo's subreddit, which, to be fair, was a really awful subreddit. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd, I I usually my, the I didn't go on it, but the subreddits I visit are r slash sea of thieves r slash super mega yeah because that's the best subreddit on on this website or r slash super mega show r slash super yeah 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 sorry r slash super mega show <clears throat> and r slash rant grumps yes that's some of the best that's some of the best <laughs> <laughs> dude uh any of like the leftist podcast subreddits are just, are they just a, awful a toxic wasteland why is it people like going like 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 I'm guessing like Destiny subreddit, no, like, like like Chapo or just like anyone Calm Town, left. all those like leftist subreddits, like like leftist like podcast subreddits. It's like you get a bunch of like tryhard kids that are uh, like that just like make a bunch of like death threats and like it, it's like the Donald but just like flipped. Kids are horrifying and now they have the full extent of the internet to, to like I yield have, their power. I have anonymity and I can say whatever I want with no remorse. And, yeah, and it's fun at the time. I don't, I forgot. Later, later you'll get to go, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But, you know, that's about it. Yeah. You know, that's so, you don't need to worry about it. <laughs> I don't remember who said it. Uh, maybe it was Eddie Burback. But if someone was like, who? Uh, Eddie Burback. Don't say his full name or else he will fucking be here in a heartbeat. E-B. You only said it, you only E-B. said it, you only said it twice, right? Yeah. I didn't okay. say it a third time. That's good. EB uh, tweeted something like, if like I wish Twitter put in a system where you know you have to verify your age and it would show your age next to your username so like in a Twitter debate or like when you're getting like blasted on Twitter it's just like 14 15 13 it's like <laughs> oh okay so you know cause you know it, Twitter is Twitter and, and TikTok and social media is bad for mental health it is it is one of the worst things for mental health I think I've I've, I've I don't know I, I, I go on a uh... Twitter to like <clears throat> like art and see what people are saying every now and then but I don't like go into the trending shit I like don't even I don't the only place where I go to like the homepage I think is like reddit where I'll just go to popular and just mm-hmm. scroll if I'm like already updated with like what I'm checking I just have this weird fear of like uh, I'm scared that like if I'm not on Twitter I'm like falling off oh I I have that feeling well it's true in my case but I haven't fallen off. <laughs> I haven't. I guess I haven't fallen off, but I've definitely like I haven't accrued the like consistency that you would that you should have working in what we do. But I'm trying to fix that. I, I started streaming again, for example. Woo. So I'm gonna. Hey, I just streamed before we uh, we uh, started recording this podcast. You pee, I took a piss. You pee, yeah. What are you checking? I was making sure it's recording. <laughs> Were you like, did I start? Yeah, I was, I was like, did I press start? <laughs> We've no, done that did. before. We've so, done that before. I mean, it's only been twice, but I have started it. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Hey, man. It's, uh, it's, don't think of it as like, uh. Just do it when I want to. Yeah, just do it when you want, man. Just have fun with it. I, I, I told chat, let's see how long this stint lasts. Let's see. Like, how long will this stint go, go for? And then how long will the break be before the next stint, you know what I mean? Because there's always, like, this big fucking m- few months to, like, I think one time it was, like, over a year break. It happens, man. I mean, like, you're not, like, it's not your job to stream. Exactly. You know? But this is your job. This is my job. You're, okay? you're right. Bowing I, down to the advertisers, that's your job. I mean, it is. It's what pays the bills. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's what keeps the lights on. It's what keeps Lego fed. It's what gets me to, to buy copious amounts of drugs and condoms for your wife's boyfriend well they haven't been using them lately what mm-hmm. that's unfair no i know and I, we made an agreement because the like, marriage is a sanctity right. between you and her well i still have so to wear if a you're gonna have kids i have to wear a condom when i have sex with my wife still yes i've no I've, no I've never had sex with her without a condom but he lately i found i just found this out like two days ago he doesn't have to wear a condom with was her it anymore. when you were videotaping or was it no um i go through the trash in the bathroom every morning just to see if there's anything good in there, uh, like worth worth keeping. Yeah. And I noticed sometimes people throw out. Well, I noticed there were no condoms. There used to be condoms. There weren't any condoms yeah. in the trash. No cum filled condoms tied off like a little balloon animal. And I noticed this. I was and like, you're like they've been they've yeah. been going at it. 
Oh yeah. Oh they yeah. They make it obvious. I mean, the the last week I have not slept in the same room as them. Yeah. I've been sleeping. Have you brought that up? Have you talked well, to them about it? No, I just know my place. I, you yeah. Know. But what happened was I I just noticed like there's no condoms, and I was like, okay, I won't say anything. You know, maybe they flushed it. And the next day, I heard them going at it all night like a couple of monkeys. Didn't didn't hear anything, or I I, well, I, I didn't see anything in the trash can. No condoms. So I was like, all right. Now it's starting to get weird. Third day, nothing still. So I, when they were sitting down, uh, eating the breakfast I had cooked for them, I said, hey, can I ask you guys something? And he was like, what? And I said, I haven't been, I had, didn't find any condoms in the trash can this week. The, like the last three, four days. And he, he looks at me and he goes, yeah, it's because I've been raw dogging her Sir- asshole. And I couldn't tell if he meant like raw dogging her asshole or like he was He's calling, calling me an, an asshole. asshole. Yeah, because the way he said it was like I've been raw dogging her asshole. So I couldn't really tell by the in- intonation. So he, he's foreign. So like his when he when he the intonation like is not okay. always very clear. Okay, it's from Abu Dhabi. But like, dude, that's just frustrating, man. Like that she like he can fuck her without a condom, but I still have to wear. You know protection, and I'm the I'm the I'm the I'm the husband. I mean, that's my wife. The thing is, you could if you saved up a hundred of your tokens, but you can usually only get to ten because that's where a hand job's offered. Yeah, man, but you I, gotta save them up, and maybe maybe. Do you, you know how hard talk. that is, dude? Do you know how infrequently I get those tokens, and he's the one that gives them to me. You were in, you were in like four last year. He's the one that decides when I get them, not her. Mm. He's like the one in, in control of the tokens. So when he thinks I... Can I've, the tokens be taken away? Oh, yeah. Oh, see, that's unfair. Yeah, no. I, they, he takes them away more than he gives them. And and that's that's the problem. I burnt his toast last week, and he took one away. And that was really upsetting because I had finally... It had been like six months, and I finally got up to three. And I burned his toast, and I told him, I said, oh, I'll make you another one. I'll make you another one. It's fine. And he said, no, no, uh, give me a token. And I'd go up into my, into my room, or... I guess their room. I have a little air mattress next to the bed, and I had to go into my little my little Ziploc bag and pull a token out and give it to him. And it sucked. It was awful. It was not fun. But but I'm 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 praying for you to get to a hundred. <sighs> I don't think it's gonna happen, man. But that's okay. You know, like I said, I know my place. Yeah. I mean, you got in this relationship knowing what it was. Maybe I'm not supposed to ever have a hundred. <clears throat> you know. But uh, it's episode 252 of the Super Mega Cast. Oh, she eyes. So, woo, 252. Yeah, 252. Yeah, 252. I know that. 252. 252. It, you can read it forwards and backwards. That's a palindrome, guys. That's crazy. But this isn't the palindrome episode. The last time we had this was 121. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 242. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, true. That was a really stupid moment of mine right there. I was like, 121? I, I was, was like, just agreeing because I was like, yeah. Because you're like, oh, I trust that my friend is smart yeah, yeah, enough yeah, to have yeah, basic yeah. math un- un- understood. I don't. We, we've established this many times. But the first palindrome episode was? 11. Then we had 22. Then 33. 33? Yeah. I wonder what it was like back then. 32 was the maintenance man cometh. Wait, I know that. It? 31 was... 33. Oh, fuck. What was 33? 33 was the reality space, space show. I was about to say, yeah. The space one. I don't know why I remember that. There it is. I want to see how we introduce a podcast. Oh, yeah, back at 33? Like, yeah. Because that's far enough into where. Oh, no. I just shifted. I just peed before this, and I just shifted. And I just felt a bunch of pee come out. Because, you know, like, you don't always get it all out. I guess some things haven't changed. I, I, dude, that's the thing. Is It's like, I, I have listened back to, like, some older episodes here and there. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, there is some different stuff, but it's like really like it's, it's not that much shit. different. <laughs> it's like oh, I'm still talking for, about pissing my pants. Gosh darn ads! Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, when we signed our contract with, I mean, I don't know if a lot of stuff. I didn't know they I were gonna put ads it. in the old episodes. Yeah, neither did I. So, at least for the next year, we're locked in with that one. So, oops, we you know we don't read contracts. We because build, yeah, why? Why would you? Why am I gonna waste <laughs> time doing that? Why am I gonna waste time reading something that legally binds you? Binds me to. But we something. also don't know if we can talk about this because we haven't read the contract, so we probably just shouldn't. Just in case. Mm. Yeah, because <laughs> we didn't read the contract. Actually, I don't know if there's anything that says. Did you read it? I can. I can go through and see. I can read the contract live on the podcast. <laughs> 
it's not super long. Well, yeah, it is actually, but it, I could, I could just read every section of the, of the contract and make that the rest of the episode. Oh yeah, I'm sure people would love that. Yeah, we, well, any like any legal students could be like, oh yeah, you guys fucked up with that one. <laughs> yep. So it's the words of the wording on that one, they got you. <laughs> It's like it's like they always know. It's like I feel like legal students are like well, it's like once they hear the start of a certain phrase, it's like oh that. I, okay, well, legal students, when you, what's the start or those who are studying law, right? What is like the start of a phrase that would be in a contract or something? That's a big automatic red flag. Like just like da 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 da, da and then like that's it. Like not a whole sentence, just kind of like the start of something to that kind of tips your ear. Or what is something that tips your ear to a bad contract that's not as uh, blatant as. I just read the contract. Usually it's like word, like the word things very specifically where like you'll just gloss over it and not realize like what it could actually imply. You won't get your thesaurus, like thesaurus out and you'll just kind of like try to weasel your way through it. Well, it, it's the kind of shit, like the kind of like word trickery like I brought up on a previous episode where it's like uh, Subway can say made with 100% chicken, but it's actually like 20% chicken, but yeah. it's made with the chicken that is in it besides the filler is 100% chicken so they can say maybe not it's not it's not made of 100% chicken but just it's made like how with it's 100% like chicken. how like egg salad is made with mustard yeah it's not made you know of mustard like, yeah it's made with, with mustard. some mustard yeah so made with 100% chicken dude okay. why like this this is far too late to have this realization but like why 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 don't we have a lawyer to read over contracts for us uh, because, uh, we're smarter than any lawyer. That's true. Yeah, that's the, yeah, We're that's two brains. A lawyer's just one. That's true, man. And I'm not hiring a whole that's fucking team of lawyers. You know how expensive lawyers are? Probably, like, 25 bucks a, a day or something like that. God, do you think, no, I'm not paying that shit. I'm not paying, fuck, uh, you know why, you know why God made snakes? Why? Why did God make Wait, snakes? Wait, fuck, what was, I think I got it wrong. You know why seven, God eight? made you know why God made lawyers? Why? Do you not remember this one as well? Because he already made snakes. Do I don't remember what? He already made no, what's the what's the saying? Dude? I don't know. You, 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 I bet the, you I don't know. Let me just Google. You know why God made lawyers? See, I don't know things, Matthew. I know. I some don't know things. things either, dude. But here we are with a podcast. <laughs> Anyone we, can have a podcast. That's the thing. The least we could do is know things. No, okay. What's one, th what's one thing you know? Well, just top of your head, what's one thing you know? Uh, I know the names. I, I know a lot of stuff about space. One, one and thing. the deep sea. I've been that's just that's just a statement that you know these things. What's one thing you know about space? Your Uranus. I'm not making a joke. Uranus has a moon named Miranda. That's that's awesome. Uh, you know why God made snakes before He made lawyers? Why? He needed the practice. <laughs> Jimmy McGill. He needed the practice. That's good. That's 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 really good, man. Wait, is that? Did I get that wrong? Is Miranda not a not a moon of is, like Saul Fart Man? Please, please, yes, Uranus. Yeah, dude, did, did you hear that? Did, did you fart? No, more like Saul Fart Man. Oh, okay, I got you. Right? Uh, yeah. Do you ever just pretty go, sick, isn't it? It's good. Do you ever just go on Wikipedia and just go down like just rabbit holes looking? Yeah, sometimes I'll I'll look up some porn and it leads to more porn. It's crazy. I remember when I was too scared <laughs> to look up porn. Like when I was younger, I was like, ah, I can I learn. It felt like a Mission Impossible event. Do, 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 do. Like, like turning like, on the computer, like shutting the door so quiet so they don't hear. It. Well, dude, my I, I I definitely said this before, but. If the speakers were accidentally on, like, doo -doo, they'd be, like go real quick. I mean, I, that still off. has happened to me as an that adult. That would be like abort mission, like hold, turn it off, and then like restart. Just stay quiet for a bit to see if you hear any movement. I was thinking about this the other day, actually, because the way my my house was set up, it was two stories, and my parents' bedroom was right below my dad's like work room, and that's where the computer was. But the it, it, it the house was like built in the seventies or eighties, and it had some like squeaky nails. So when, when, to walk to the computer, I had to like go around the desk from the doorway. And when you would walk, it'd be like, <laughs> and you could hear it from my parents' bedroom so clear. So I remember at night, I'd have to be like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to watch porn. Fuck. So I'd like very, very, no, I'd leave the door open so I could hear them coming just in case. You could, you could hear them what, Matt? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not talking about my parents having sex. I'm talking about my, myself yeah, watching yeah, porn. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I would I I much rather would have listened to that though because that's you? that's the real deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that of is. Of course. But basically, you're like the for like twenty seconds, and then just and then it just stops. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> and then you'll start to, you'll just hear like the sink turn on <laughs> <laughs> like the light turn on for like five seconds to turn back on <laughs> yeah. and then like five minutes later just hear my dad snoring uh, <laughs> no but I'd have to walk around to, the, to get to the computer and I'd, I'd be like on my tiptoes like and it'd be like and, be like, oh. and I remember every now and then I would hear from downstairs Not you. And I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> I'd zoom back out dude <laughs> I remember I went, one uh, time. One time. I like, wish there was like a camera set up so I could see you in like cinematic beauty, like have the narrative splayed out before me. Matthew, <laughs> I remember one time I, I was like pages from like like a like a desk out in the hallway, just <laughs> <full> eyes start <laughs> swirling a little, bit. a little dust cloud behind me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a. I was looking once, and I remember uh, looking as in looking at pornography once yes. when I was a, 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 a wee teenager, mm -hmm. and um. All of a sudden, my dad came out of nowhere. <laughs> he came out of nowhere? Yeah. He had to come from somewhere, man. <laughs> he didn't just come from the... No, like he, a portal opens <laughs> up. Like <laughs> Right behind me, a portal <laughs> in the fabric of space and time opened, and he climbed out. <laughs> what are you doing, son? <laughs> hey! What are you using the family computer for? He came but it, out. <laughs> then my dad came out of nowhere. I love that. <laughs> Um, no, but I, I I suddenly realized he was much closer, like to walking into the studio than I thought. Yeah, and I was like, "Fuck!" Whip whip my pants up real quick. I go to close out, and computer freezes, and I was like, "No, no, you no. can't just turn off the monitor because then that's super suspicious." Nope. Well, it was it was a uh, it, it was a Mac, like oh, one of the old Macs. So okay. You can't turn off the monitor without turning off the computer. So I just hold down the button on the back. It's not turning off. Right as he walks in, and I was like, like "Man, I'm the computer just messed up." <laughs> and then I, I another time it doesn't. And those old computers didn't like save your shit. No, but another time I heard him coming, so I closed out real quick and pulled something else up. But my favorite thing about porn websites is they're like, "Oh, let's silently open up some pop-ups of disgusting porn in the background <laughs> yeah. that you don't even see." So he comes over and he's like, "Hey, I need to get on for work." I was like, "Okay." So I close out of my windows, and there's just like this big ass live Jasmine ad of like a girl fingering herself, like ah. Oh. And he's like, "What the hell is that?" And I was like, I, I, "We might have a virus. I don't know, Dad." I told him I thought we had a virus. So like I, I did this whole thing where I like downloaded antivirus software. I was like, "I got rid of it, Dad." <laughs> he probably knew, but uh, I, I, uh, I think I got away with most of my escapades. They, you're, I even uh, they had point, to know. Oh, they had to know at some. Looking point. back, like my parents, like they had to know when I was like, like, hey, but I'm not, gonna go up to my room to study. Oh, exactly. Like it's just kind of like I'm gonna. Well, I don't know. I spent most of my time in my room playing games and stuff. So I'm yeah, playing sure with spend, yourself. Your okay, I played. Game. I played video games by myself sometimes. Only sometimes. I had. A lot of friends. I was telling you. I was uh, saying earlier uh, in, how I would, how I had have friends around the world. Well, actually, I say that in an ad read that you're about to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? It's time to talk about ExpressVPN. Uh, uh, watching Netflix without using ExpressVPN is like paying for a gym membership, but only being able to use the treadmill. With having said that, how does ExpressVPN unblock the content? Well, ExpressVPN lets you change your online location so you can control where you want Netflix to think you're located. They have almost 100 different server locations so you can gain access to thousands of new shows. This works with many other streaming services too, BBC iPlayer, YouTube, and more. I, I use this sometimes when having movie nights with friends who live in... Uh, Canada, China, Australia, all my all my friends all around the world when we have movie nights and it helps us come together uh, and all watch the same movie. It's great. It, it has blazing fast speeds. It streams in HD with zero buffering. Uh, there's It's compatible with all your devices, so like phones, laptops, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. ExpressVPN has the added benefit of encrypting your data so you can browse the web securely as well. Stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of their content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our link at expressvpn.com slash supermega to get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Welcome back. God. <clears throat> Make sure you put the right ad read there. I will, man. 
Well, that also, but well, well in the also, video version, yes. Yeah, but, you but know, the audio version, who knows? Because that's, that, that's streaming left services. Up to that's a bunch up to of the, fucking monkeys. That's left up to a bunch of monkeys in suits that are like, ah, oh, these guys making dick jokes again. Just throw the ads in right here. Go, yeah, mix them up, whatever. So, I don't know. I I really don't. Also, I don't know if it works like. If if when we record ads, if it replaces like the old ones and other episodes. So if you listen to an old episode, you'll hear like the ads we just recorded. That would be interesting. I you know? know, I don't know how that. Because I I mean I don't want the I I, I I I don't know if they would be playing like old ads still. Beats me. That's probably why they make us. Send I don't them listen to the super mega cast. Yeah, you do. You listen to it right now. Well, technically, yeah. You listen to it live. It's, I'm I'm creating it. With every word we utter, we're creating uh, gold. Do you guys know Ryan and I have edited every single episode of this podcast up to 252? That is right. We have edited every single one. Every single one. I usually take evens. Ryan usually takes odds. It's been that way for a while. There were, There's a period where like, you would do six weeks, and then I would do like five or six. <sighs> Getting a phone call? Hello? Welcome to Spectrum, the country's largest cable TV network. Dude. If you are facing issues with the service or feel the bill is too high, press one and speak to a feedback agent. Otherwise, Dang hang it. up the call. Yo, mama. <gasps> Dude, you just... Spectrum ain't gonna recover from that one. <laughs> Spectrum. Stupid old Spectrum. I'm on the Spectrum. That should be their new catchphrase. Like, for people, for people that have, like, Spectrum internet. <laughs> yep, I'm on the Spectrum. <laughs> I, I wish they would do that. Like, a whole advertising campaign. That would be good. That would be great. I think that'd be fantastic. Then you we know? could all be on the spectrum. We could all be like on the spectrum network. You know, although we're I'm, all on the spectrum. Although I can't, I can't promote being quote unquote on the spectrum because their internet's not the best. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's. Do I do I have spectrum? I th I don't think you do. Do I you? Think I thought I you have do. like eight. You I don't know if I have AT and T or if I have spectrum. I just have literally like th there was only one thing available for me that was like high speed which was stupid because like where I used to live which was pretty close to where I moved to I had like way more options and then just like right down the street it's like hmm, only one what yeah why also like uh, I had I lived in an apartment building once where for internet you only had one option like they had signed a deal with I think AT&T and it's like you have no option for internet except this package and you have to pay like this amount which is so stupid so so just effing dumb, dude. Oh, guess what? What? Update on the fleas. flea situation. Let's hear, about, let's hear about these fleas, Ryan. I actually, real quick, if if it doesn't work, what what you tried? I think I I think I actually do know how to get rid of them. I'm not kidding. Okay, so this is what the bug man said. Bug man came today, and he put more granules in the lawn, and he used like two different types of sprays. It, it, like, kills them on contact and then also works residually up to, like, a month or something like that. I And all the problem areas that I was having. And when I went out there to show them the problem areas, a bunch of them were jumping on us as I was talking to them. So I was like, yeah. He, he actually answered the door and he's like, are you sure it's fleas, though? And I'm like, I'm very sure it's fleas. Come take a look, buster. Yeah. And so we had that moment. And he said, he went... Okay, I I might have like oversprayed, but he seemed like an anxious little man because he didn't want to flee on him because he's like, I have a husky at home and I don't want to bring one home. So he was talking and he said, even if there was a dead animal or an animal under my uh, shed, there wouldn't have been that bad of an inf infestation. So this was a pretty bad infestation because he said there was like 10 to 20 of them on his, on his little trousers at one time at one point. But he sprayed the hell out of that area. And then when I went out there to go check on it, you know, only one jumped on me my, the whole time I was out there. I was out there for like five minutes walking around up and down. Shit. But here's the thing. That, that means that there's at least like more eggs or something somewhere. And the advice he said was, was if this works, that's good. But if it doesn't, then that means maybe your neighbors have it. And I'm like, well, what if what, my neighbors are irresponsible and they're not like, I'm not going to go... Y'all got fleas? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Y'all got fleas? Get your shit treated. Come on. Like, I'm not going to do that. So he's like, then then if this doesn't fix it, uh, move. I was like, all right. I, I forgot about this. My sister told me this ages ago to get rid of, like, ants, 
fleas, bed bugs. It, okay. It's crazy. It's called, I forgot what it's called, like diatonaceous earth, I think. Okay. It's like, it's like a white powder. And it's not toxic to dogs or anything or humans, but like, does it work similar to like salt, where it like bla- breaks just, their it exoskeletons? It, yeah, it just absolutely kills. Can them. I use it on my patio or? Yeah, because you can even feed it stuff. to a dog to kill worms that the dog has. Really? Mm-hmm. And it's it's like the best for killing bugs apparently. So like it, that that right there. And actually, I got a lot of DMs on Instagram for you. People were like, "Tell Ryan to use diatonaceous earth." That's what a lot of people were saying. That in fact. I, mean, I, was I was reading like, on Reddit, or I was reading somewhere, maybe it was a comment on the video, but it's, it's like... diatomaceous earth? But it was, it's something like that. It's something... Diat- the, diatoma- diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth. Well, they were saying how their exterminator guy was like, hey, you're wasting money using me. Just get this shit. It's magic. And so... Diatomaceous earth kills household and garden pests. Fleas, ticks, ants, cockroaches, slugs, bed bugs, and just more. Get Within like 48 a, hours Home contact. Depot or something? Mm-hmm. Just sprinkle it around. And also, if your neighbors were to have fleas, you could just do, like, a big line along, like, the fence or wherever. Yeah. And they wouldn't be able to cross over because they'd die. I'm pretty sure it's something, like, when they touch touch it, it, like, sucks all the moisture out of them or something. And then they... Similar to salt. Salt works in that way. Yeah. So, try that. Because it's, like... I mean, double check that... I, I read that you can feed it to a dog to get rid of, like, worms the dog has. So, yeah. go ahead and just feed Lego a couple spoonfuls. <laughs> okay. Just to make sure it's safe. I'm going to look into that more. I'm also going to wait like a few days and then I'm going to go back out in, out in that back area and see, you know, one or two may get on me, but I'm going to see if it gets as bad as like, because if I get down and stand out there and like give it just a little bit, I'll have like five, 10 on me, no problem. Well, why don't you give it a couple days and then just cover your bases and sprinkle the diatomaceous earth on top of what the guy did, even if you don't see any, just to, just in case just there's a couple eggs case. laying around that's like, oh, just wait, just just wait, just wait, we're going to fuck you up, right? But then the wind might blow the diatomaceous earth because it's a powdery type of stuff, right? Dude, also, it's, yeah, it's, it's like it, it's like cocaine. You could get handfuls of it at nighttime and throw it over the fence to your neighbor's place. <laughs> I could, I could. <laughs> he's just out there, like, his, his wife and him just, like, broke up. Like, just got a huge fight, and she's packing up her stuff, and he's out there smoking a cigarette, like, <gasps> just throwing and goes in his eyes over the fence, and fucking, it's flammable, just goes up in flames, he sets on fire, and no one knows how he fucking died. You know? Wasn't me. Officer, Would I you, swear to God it wasn't me. If you knew that you had done that, but they, they had no way to ever tell it was you, are you gonna be like, I killed him? Of course him? not, dude. <laughs> no. Dude, I still have so many commendations to get in Sea of Thieves, okay? <laughs> Like, you're not scared about, like, losing, like, your livelihood or, like, no, anything. Dude. It's you're just like, I, I, have, I have more Sea of Thieves to With play. The, the season, like, I, I'm still not 100, level 100 uh, renown or whatever. I still gotta, I still gotta grind that out. Afterwards, maybe I'll take some responsibility for my actions, you know? They should give prisoners video games. And I'll, and I'll, but I'll, but I'll go to an officer and be like, officer. Let's say I accidentally caused someone's death and didn't come out about it knowingly because I was so embarrassed. What what kind of trouble would I be in? Serious trouble, young man. That's uh Thank you. What is that? That's... Then I then I go and whistle and I walk away. That that's that's a uh, uh second degree manslaughter. Uh, the 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 mental torment that I give myself is is enough punishment. Exactly. I shouldn't have done that. You know, that type of thing. That, like that, when a drunk driver kills a family. Why send him to jail? He's going to live with that for the rest of his life. Exactly. You know? He's going to have to, you know, he's going to have to go around breathing air, drinking delicious beverages once again, eating wonderful foods. <laughs> with the weight on his back that he killed a family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, your, did your high school have like a, like a guy that was a drunk driver that killed someone come and speak? No, but we did have a, a very kind of... There was every few years there was a big kind of accident where s- either the student was drunk or they were hit by a drunk driver and they would like spell their name in like red solo cups. on the fence. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the chain link fences. Mm-hmm. Big drunk drive like don't drink and drive campaigns, but okay, wait, kids are stupid. So and also adults because adults also drink and drive too. Adults drink and drive a lot. I actually had a friend in high school that uh, three or so years after graduating, uh, him and this other kid I knew got into, like, a like an Escalator, an Explorer, or a Suburban, one of those big cars, at, like, 2 a.m. from a party, and they were hammered, and they drove, and uh, flipped the car, and my, uh, my friend died. And the other one was his best friend. He had he has to live with the fact that he killed him. He didn't go to jail or anything. Uh, which is, which he's lucky for that. Yeah. He didn't go to jail. Well, 
I, I just I remember seeing his mugshot, dude. That. His mugshot taken right after the wreck, and he just looks like the most like broken fucking like person I've ever seen. It's because he it, killed his best friend. Yeah, and he knows he's like, well, I killed him, and now I'm gonna be in trouble too. I'd be more upset that I'm gonna be in trouble than I killed my friend. But yeah, I don't want people to know that I'm an asshole. They're gonna say, "Wow, you're you're a fucking asshole the rest of your life." <laughs> That does suck, though. Like, living with that is, like, ultimate prison, kind of. Like, knowing that. Yeah, that's why it's you should just send these people back out into the world. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Drinking and driving. You fine. won't do it again, right? No, officer. I feel bad. No, I won't do it again. You're looking at me like that. You're... You're, you're looking at me like that, and it makes me say you're going to do it again. No, no, I'm not going to do it again. I, okay. Eh, pinky promise. Okay, pinky, pinky promise. promise. Oh, you moved it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, this time for real. This time for real. Okay, 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 here we go. Wait, Just, you got your fingers crossed behind your back, don't you? Ah. <sighs> Come on. Now. All right, this time for real. I'm serious. This time pinky for real. promise. Pinky promise. Look, not no fingers crossed. No again. fingers crossed. I'm going to have to pull you over. We're going to have to do this song and dance all nope, over again. Nope, no drinking and driving next you promise? time. I promise. Yep. Okay. Like, literally, like, a couple meters away, there's like a flipped minivan with a fan <laughs> just on fire. <laughs> All right, have a, you have a good night, sir. <laughs> there's this video of these like two inebriated dudes who have crashed into a pole, and the officers see this. They see it happen on the dash cam. And as the, the officer's walking up, the dude has his window rolled down, and he's just like, What's up, officer? <laughs> like, like, like nothing like happened. Try to play it off. Yeah, the dude's like, well, and and this pole is like cr like on top of this man's car. Maybe one. <laughs> I love that. Dude, act cool, act cool. Good evening, officer. <laughs> like, act just, cool, dude. He won't notice. Hey, let me see if I can find it real quick. Like just just like try hoping that the officer <laughs> just doesn't notice. Hey, you got you got a tail light out, son. Okay, I'll get that fixed, officer. No, oh, there's so many fucking videos of people crashing into poles. Yeah. The Reddit can find it, maybe. Probably not. They'll probably put a bunch of the videos that aren't it, and I won't even give them hints. Yeah. I won't be like, nah. I think I found the video Ryan was talking about. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Let me tell you something, Ryan. One thing? I don't know why. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to remind myself why. Tried so hard to lost it all. In the end, it doesn't mm. even matter. I'm very sore today. Cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. Why are you sore, Matt? I'm sore because... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I almost spilled a little drink. No, I had so much sex with nuts. your mom last night, and I was up on top of her all night, so now I'm all sore. Ow, dude. Hit the microphone, not even me. You know how expensive these things are? Don't! Did, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun dip, dude. Oh, dude. We're gonna have to get Jackson here to clean this up. Jackson! Ryan picked up a candle to pretend to throw at me, and for some reason there was an open packet of fun dip Who inside. Who brought this fun dip? I didn't eat that fun dip. No. no, no. There was, I remember there was someone on the podcast, like, why'd you get fun I think this fun dip's old as shit. It's, it's, it's more than half a year old. It's been there. Was it like Eddie... Uh, was it EB's? It was someone's... Do you, do you remember it was a guest's fun dip? And like they weren't even eating it with the stuff. They were just eating the powder or whatever? Yes. Yeah. Who yeah, was yeah. that? Who was that? It was someone weird. Wait. It wasn't too mad. It wasn't Jake. It might have been too mad. No, that's been there longer. No, this has been here for a while. I see it every time. Because it's also got the toy fish inside the candle. Yeah. That's the state of our office. But Ryan picked up the candle to throw at me and fucking... And a bunch of powder just poof. flew up. Like in like in a like in a movie, you can also hear the the real tear in my in my scream because I actually thought you were going to. You're like, stop! <laughs> yeah, I knew. I just had to look at something heavy where where for you it would be like, it's that item where it's like, that's definitely too heavy for it to be thrown at me. But maybe this person thinks it's light enough or something to like, where it's not. Yeah, maybe he's like taking the joke a little too far, doesn't realize <laughs> it, and then it's gonna like hit my knee and like fracture it or. You know, because he, al he already threw a water bottle at me. Maybe right. he thinks this is kind of like the same deal. The next step up, you know? Because you could have thrown on that bottle or the bottle of Hennessy that's sitting there. How many... Okay, speaking of... How long is that... Okay, this table... The Hennessy has been here since two men. That's right. And the table right here between us has... It doesn't really get cleaned off that often. Like, So it's just the same things on it that have been here forever. There's a there's an, an uh, educational book about methadone. Yep. 
a candle with some fun dip, there's a, a half newspaper. drank bottle of Hennessy, there's which a, where's this? When is this newspaper from? Uh, that's from today, oh, I think. Did you just bring this? Yeah, I brought that in from the mailbox. Oh. No, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, that bottle of Hennessy, though, you know what I realized? No. Ever since two man, we've had every guest try it. So I think that maybe we should keep it around and like every time a guest comes on, they gotta have some Hennessy. The super mega Henny bottle. Sorry, there's some good deals. Tell me some deals, deals man. To organize some... your home. Custom closets, garage cabinets, home offices, laundries, pantries, hobby hobby rooms, wall beds, wall organizers, uh, garage flooring, wall units, sliding glass doors, and sliding mirror doors. Fifty percent off plus free installation and free delivery. 50% off any order of $980 or more, 40% off any order of $600, $680 or more on any closet, garage, or office orders and others. Closet world. Okay. <clears throat> huh. Well, act this is our 2020 annual water quality report. Is it good? <laughs> well, we how is it? We could see uh, how fucking dirty the water we've been drinking is from the tap. Let me see. Lead. Uh, okay, so lead, we're good. Uh, there's, there's, there's point two, um, there's, there's point two amount of lead in our water. Uh, but action level is 15, so it has to get to 15. Ooh, you could save $537 on auto insurance. Really? No, uh, with, uh, triple A. I, I just got my AAA card in the mail. The, I renewed it. AAA, I will say, this is not an advertisement. AAA is, as an adult, one of the best investments you can Why? make. Because uh, you, you pay for an annual membership. Anytime you break down, get a flat tire, need a tow, they come and they just do it. Like, you don't have to pay for a thing. You just pay for a yearly membership, break down, they'll come straight to you, tow you, pick you up, change your flat tire, Ooh. give you gas, whatever you need. This sounds like an ad read. It's not. It's I just really, AAA is actually like a really yeah. good investment. There's a adult. difference between like ad reads and what we're doing now. Like these are just like us talking I'm about I'm recommending what we're AAA at, to people. And these are ad reads. We all shop online and we've all seen that promo code feel taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. Here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites, like supermegamart.net. When you check out, the Honey button drops down and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it could find for that site, and if Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. I was buying some trousers uh, last week, and uh, they were they were like... You know, pants are expensive. It's like they're like 60, 70 bucks. Ugh, yeah. Yeah, I know. And uh, Honey popped in and was like, oh, you want uh, 10 bucks off? And I was like, okay. So I got them for 10 bucks cheaper. So if you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out on free savings. It's literally free and installs in a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing <laughs> I'm your- sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I laughed. <laughs> you think that's funny? You <laughs> no. think it's funny when people save money <laughs> using Honey? I don't. Well, I think it's great. I think it's amazing because I use it and you should use it too. And and you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this podcast. Uh, so you can get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. I don't know you, but I'm dying to get back out there in the real world. Like, let's say, to the gym. It's been so long I'm starting to miss the little old things. Like, do you know what I would give to wipe someone else's sweat off of the machines at the gym? <sighs> Vaccination is the most effective way to help prevent COVID-19. And get back to the good old times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Find a COVID-19 vaccination location near you at vaccines.gov. That's V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S dot gov. If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt. Upstart is here to help you make that final payment so you can get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score and is expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between 1,000 to 50 50,000 smackaroos. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. I love Upstart because I think it's cool when when you got all these different debts to pay and you don't you're saying you got what, a lot what, of them too. I, I got a lot, yeah. But in Upstart, well, I don't want to talk about. I, I'm millions of dollars in debt. Yeah. But 
but Upstart does help me, you know, consolidate them into just one payment, so I'm not looking all over the place and paying this and missing this, and you know. That sounds awesome. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash supermega. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash supermega. Ah, All right. Find anything else juicy in those? Microbiological sampling results. Um... Stop tickling my stop, dude. Um, okay, so really, really, no microbiological, no E. coli in our water. Um, yeah, so that's good. Poop, feces. Don't see that. Well, actually, wait. Disinfection byproducts and disinfectant residuals. Total trihalomethanes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, so thirteen is the highest. Of for 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 total trihalomethanes, we got eight. Whoa! Okay. By drinking water disinfection, and then let's see. An, oh, ooh, this one's high. Chloramines, which I'm guessing is chlorine and, and shit. Uh, the highest says three point three. We got two. <sighs> and then bromate. <laughs> when you're mating with your bros, uh, we got we got one point four, and the highest is four point two. Oh, that's, oh that's, God! Uh oh! Detection of contaminants with secondary drinking water standards: aluminum chloride, color odor. Oh shit! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, let me see if there's anything that's like alarming in here. Okay, that one's pretty high. What is that? Total dissolved solids, so runoff poop. or leaching from natural deposits or seawater influence. Industrial waste. You know okay. what's in the ocean? Mm -hmm. Poop. Well, listen to this. Industrial waste. Uh, the highest number is two hundred fifteen. Got 92. So there is some industrial waste. And that's that's parts per million. So we're drinking some some pee. Yeah. Oh, this one's really high. Ooh. Specific conductance. Substances that form ions in water, sea fluor influence. Ow, I don't give a fuck about that. Is there any I'm just looking for poop. Whoa, what the fuck? What? What happened? <laughs> Dude. Radionuclides. Uranium. The highest is 14. Our drinking water is 8.9 uranium. They make bombs out of that, don't they? What the fuck, dude? The fuck? 8.9? Ura that's, dude, that's, that's a little Just too Just go look in your water report. They're trying to make us all, all individual nuclear explosives so they can just drop human bodies, which are the most, <laughs> uh, what we have a wealth of in America. Dude, that's, <coughs> that's a lot of uranium, dude. That's that. That's that's more than than half of of the the limit. Oh wait, is this this is a Burbank news newsletter? No, oh, what's going on in our community? I'm reading the best Burbank newsletter, which is the water in Burbank, summer 2021. That's the water report for for. for Bur I guess that man, the fucking uranium in the water. That was the biggest shocker to me. It like and it comes from erosion of natural deposits. There's so no byline. It's, it's not even uh for any of these. There's no I don't way. I see a byline. What's a byline? By like the author of the article. Oh, like who 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 wrote these articles? Yeah, Mr. Burbank wrote them. Eddie gonna, Burbank. I was gonna give credit, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's not that type of thing. Dude, Let's you, see. Take out trash. Over the past year, many of us have been supporting our local restaurants and taking a break. Yeah, this sounds like something. I don't know. Or, or maybe they want this. Like this is coming from. Mr. Well, usually Burbank they'll put himself. it in a, a little, a little. This thing. is this is Mr. Burbank. This isn't like a, a local paper or anything. You know, E. B. Can't say his name a third time on the podcast because he'll be here. Whoa! Right? Ryan just Ryan just threw the newsletter and it landed like like standing up against his his drink. Pretty cool. That's stiff. Thanks, man. Um. So some of you guys might have seen E. B. on Twitter getting real upset that he can't get verified time and time again. That's actually because of us. We've been so we have connects at Twitter, and it's a joke. We're we like, just do tell not, him not to. Just, just don't, don't do it. Just, just don't, don't do it. Like it's not don't. hurting anyone. It's not like just don't do it. Just don't it's verify just funny. him. You know. So Ryan and I up on the hilltop with our check marks. Looking well, we go down to the because we go to those parties every month. Mm, yeah. The influencer, you have to have the blue check mark verified. Parties. Well, that's that's mainly why he wants it. He he pretends like he's like, oh, I just I don't you know I just want it. I don't really care. He wants it so he can come to the influencer parties because they, when you get to the door, they check if you have a check mark. 
And if you don't, you're not even, you don't even get to the second gate. You have to get to the first gate where they check it. Yeah. Then you got to walk about half a mile through the property to the and second And then if gate. anyone recognizes you as you're going through that walk, then you're allowed in. But if no one recognizes you on that kind of like boardwalk, you know, half mile walk to the actual property, yep. then you have to turn around. They're like, all right, because. your application. And that's because there's people that are verified with like 2,000 followers. Yeah. You know who the fuck they are. So if, if one of those guys, like, I'm going to go to one of these verified parties, goes in, no one recognizes them, turn away. But when Ryan and I go, every time, we oh, get, they we get love swamped. Us. They, they're <laughs> chasing us. We have to run. It's I like know. the Beatles. Oh, I mean, I, I guess it would be at the benefit because then EB would be one of those people that would help us get recognized. Um, but I, I don't think I have the courage to, like, admit that I, you know. Well, I don't. Maybe one or two people would recognize them, which is, the well, you know, would still get them in, but. You know, there's there's a lot of people there. Yeah, they they would they would care about us, man. It's like it's like Beatlemania when they see us. Did you, did you girls notice, are passing out. Did you notice how venomous Twitter was in their response to them? How mean and heartless they were. Yeah, that was cold, man. Twitter really clapped back at EB. They did. He who shall not be named. At least for the third time, not in one, not in this, you know, this specific one. Yeah, I don't want to fucking. Risk it, you know? The yeah, the planets are aligned, and you, you don't want to test it when that shit's going on. Was it the stars are aligned? Or the planets, you know? Well, I actually I can't remember which is aligned. One of them. You can check it right there. Aligned. See, they're, they're, not, they're not aligned. Neptune is in retrograde, dude, so... Dumbass. That's why everything bad's been happening to you. Cause, cause Pluto's fucking... a planet. Pluto's a planet. It is. They reinstated it, they didn't did. they? Then why? Then Planet X isn't real. Why am I Apple Planet Watch? Planet X isn't real. Planet, Planet X. X isn't real. There's more planets beyond Pluto we just don't know about. Because they have such ecliptic orbits. Then if they exist, why don't we know about them? Fuck. We can see into other solar systems. Why can't we see what's in ours? That is kind of weird that like we can detect planets like light years away, but like we, we still have not found everything in, in our solar system. I guess I mean they're small. It's just goofy, man. I mean, there's a there's a uh, like a not a micro planet, but there 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 is like a moon type thing that's bigger than Mercury, but it's not considered a planet because I think it or I don't know, dude. I said it earlier I was like I know a lot about space. I'm now embarrassing myself. Yeah, I did dream last night. We were doing a super mega live show, and we were about to go on, and we had nothing planned. So pretty much just what what really happened. Say, so uh, uh, but it was just really scary. I'm just sweeping a little. Just sweeping away the uh, fun dip. I'm trying to see. You know, I'm trying to get it collected. Get a little razor blade. Razor blade. Get a get a little razor blade, dude. Ron, what are the odds you have to snort a line of fun dip? What's wouldn't that go into my lungs? Yes. That's not good. But it can't be worse for you than like snorting drugs. You're right, which I have done a lot of. Dude, don't. Well, I almost brought him up again. I was going to say, you know. Quaaludes? Well, EB. Yes. Grind, yeah, grinds yeah, him up. Yeah, and yeah, he, yeah, he always yeah. tries. He, he made us try it once. I didn't like it. You didn't like it. But he, no. he pushes it on people to do the Quaaludes. And they're expired, too, because they don't make Quaaludes anymore. So they're more potent. Yep. And um, I don't know. He's just got, got a He's, drug problem. EB just needs to get rid of his needles, get rid of his trays, and just kind of like just flatten out for like a week or two. Just at least a week. Yeah. You know, he's been strung out lately. And then, you know, for the good graces, if that happens, then we'll probably, we'll, we'll talk to Twitter a little bit, maybe. But yeah. I, I don't know, it's still, it's just kind of. It's just kind of funny. Even if he cleans up his act, it's still funny to me, <laughs> yeah. so, you know. Oh, fuck, dude. There's a big box of Girl Scout cookies in front of me, I just noticed. What kind? Thin mints? Thin mints. Ooh-wee. ooh sooey, <laughs> soo I've, if I was a Union soldier, and I'm in the woods at night, and I, and I hear a group of Confederates running through the woods, coming closer, doing their little battle cries, I would be fucking terrified. Oh! I'd be like, ah, it's, it's like all, monsters coming. I, it's a pig call, dude. Oh, we watched that, yeah, we watched that video yesterday of, like, the pig call ch tournament. Yeah. I've been doing this since I was a little boy, and I studied under a master. <laughs> doing all these, like, weird fucking sounds. Pig, 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 pig. Come here, pig, here, pig. It was really good. Layton put it on. It was great. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Now I know how to call your mom to bed. <laughs> <laughs> that was a zinger, man. Come That's on, a good right? one. Right? That one. That one I can't be mad at. That was good. Thanks, man. 
It's really good. You know, I try not to be so disrespectful some sometimes. Well, I don't know. I don't think she still listens to the podcast because I haven't heard her bring it up in a while. Really? She's I, retired now. My mom definitely still brings up the podcast and watches. She posts pictures with our merch. I, t- I talked to my phone with my mom this morning. She brought that up. She said, Why doesn't your mom do that? Is she not as supportive as uh, my mom, I guess? No, she's not. Mm. I wish she was, but she. Uh, my mom's like, I saw Cecile posting some pictures in her Ryan McGee shirt and pictures of the July calendar. Yep. I Always, haven't seen him, but that, the months that's, changes. That's what my mom uh, said. She was wearing the Ryan McGee shirt. Not the, the Matt Ryan Watson McGee shirt. Fit. No. No, 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 no. She wouldn't be caught dead. In- Your mom didn't buy the Matt Watson shirt? I sent her one. Really? Mm-hmm. Did she not wear it? Because it's a gift. You know what? That's actually funny that you, you mentioned that. I have not. Right? You yeah. should call her up and see what what's going on with that. I, I have too big of a fear that maybe I didn't actually send it. And she's like, you never sent me a package. And then I'm going to be like, no, I did. I definitely did. Odds are you ask your mom to take a picture of herself wearing your shirt. You just do it now? Let's give her a call and see. Yeah, it's your like, mom. Hey, can you take a picture of yourself in the NASCAR shirt? And that will confirm if I sent it to her. Mama? Yes, Matthew. <laughs> yeah. Hello? Mama? Hey, honey, what's happening? What uh, are you doing? Not much. I'm just, uh, heads up, I'm recording a podcast right now, but I had a question. Would you be able to take a picture of yourself wearing the Matt Watson? Not, not for the podcast. Not, I'm already done with we, the would, question. We, no, we, we need you post. to wear, like, the Matt Watson NASCAR merch shirt. Would you take a picture of yourself wearing that one that I sent you? We wouldn't post it. We wouldn't post the picture anywhere. You didn't send me one of those. Yes, I did. No, well, I never got it. All right, Mom. I love you. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I didn't send my mom one. So what other things has Matt Watson claimed to have done and then ultimately not have done? I don't think he ever met George Bush. <laughs> I have proof of that one. I have a letter from the governor that said they're thanking me. <laughs> I don't think Super Meg is real. It's a figment of your imagination. Could you, you imagine, like, how weird it would be if someone was watching, like, heard this conversation and, like, haha, fell asleep, woke up the next morning, and, like, we just deleted our channel and everything. Like, we tried to Every scrub trace. as much as we could. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, they can't find anyone talking about it online. <laughs> I know. Like, we just delete the subreddit, delete everything. Maybe the internet would be better if Super Mega never existed. Well, Unis Honest are. Well, We'll penis anus ourselves. That's the voice as a. That's the voice of a, the the villain in our big movie, who's played by Mark Blyer. <laughs> <laughs> he would play a great villain. I'm not gonna lie, wouldn't he? He's big. Or er, their views have been reduced to atoms. Their views have been reduced to hundreds of thousands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Keep consistency. It up, is normalcy. Consistent uploads is key, boys. <laughs> and what we have here is... Can you put on some pants, Mark? Yeah, oh, what we have here is a failure to upload. Yo mama. When you cast lightning bolts. <laughs> guys, you into a little... <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, I, if like Markiplier could shoot lightning bolts out of his hand. <laughs> Honestly, with all the like soul searching he does, he's got to he's got to have like some sort of like mental energy built up. You can tell in his in his forehead veins. Well, that's that's the electricity going through because <laughs> he can charge it up and fire a lightning bolt. Like he throws lightning bolts like like Hercules. What? Zeus? Zeus? Does Zeus, Zeus throw light? Zeus? Yeah. Hercules is Zeus's son. Well, he should be able to throw lightning bolts too. Isn't that genetic? But he's he's a half breed. Oh, okay, never mind. Zeus went down and fornicated with some humans. God damn it. He pulled a god. Or, I think, I don't know, in in the Disney one, they make him just drink a bottle that takes away his god, or half of his godness. I think Zeus had sex with, like, his wife in the movie. (laughs) Zeus had sex? (laughs) Yeah, he did. Yeah, he had a lot of sex. Okay, I gotta rethink. Jesus didn't, though. 
pussy. You, you know he got some pussy at least once. No, there's way. no way. Jesus, what? He was wasn't he like 33 when he died? <laughs> there's no way that man got to 33 How can without you some fuck pussy. Fuck a pussy when you are one. Stop. That's what Christ you're talking about. And seriously, how the fuck, dude? Imagine going to 33 and having no pussy. <laughs> Smash cut to like one of the listeners right now, just like put, he, put his head down on his desk. Like, Picture of Jesus this off. checking his manicure while he's being crucified. <laughs> Now that's bottom energy. <laughs> classic callback. Classic, classic callback to a classic Bob, super mega moment. SpongeBob Bik Battle for Bikini Bottom. Play the new one. It's the same thing. It just looks slightly different. Now, no. I will say, earlier this morning you were asking me why was May 2019 our biggest spike in subs ever. I looked back. It's because that's when we started SpongeBob that Battle is. for Bikini Bottom. So maybe we should play it again. <sighs> Dude, you know how many people we could actually just... just just probably copy the audio from that and just put it over new gameplay I and they know. wouldn't even notice. We just we just have to talk over someone else's gameplay. Because we don't even talk about the games. Sorry. I'll talk GD F word. <laughs> Fuckers. Yeah. But still, G D is what pissed me off. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Don't I'm even sorry, I, I feel dirty even saying G, G I mean it's it's implying the same thing, so is it even any any better just just to say the initials? No, it's not. It's the exact same thing as saying the actual swear. I like when I like when someone says "God damn" on like the radio or TV. They censor "God." It's like, ah, oh, damn. damn it. Yeah. Can you believe that's what the liberals are doing? They're censoring the word "God" on television. Those are the right wingers who don't want kids listening to it because they don't want their little babies to be uh, sinners. Here's a here's an like interesting mommy and daddy question that I someone asked me this week. Okay. Uh, Do I get to answer it? Yeah. Is it a question you're posing or just a question that you're posing and then you're going to give your, like... Well, I've, I've, I've answered it. Okay. I'm, I'm curious about you. Now, neither of us at this point in our lives plan to or want to have children. Correct. We've said, but if you did have kids, would you swear in front of your children? Yeah. Not, like, all the time, but I, like, wouldn't beat myself. I wouldn't make it a point now, to be like, whoa... I let them know what words are not good to say around, like, family and stuff. I had the same answer. I think I would... I think when they're, like, elementary school, I'd try to not do it a lot, just no, so they don't yeah, go saying I would, it. I but, like, like, when they're older, it's like... i definitely tone it down. Once they understand, like, the words and, and the power behind the F word, I, I, that's I rarely I hear my dad cuss. Same. I don't hear my. But I, but I, I like. I, I'll say something during a phone call and I'll be like, <laughs> same. But, but I, I'm usually good. I'll like replace it with like frickin' or gosh darn. For, like I, I just try to do. I just try to go PG with it. Yeah, I, I feel a little awkward surrounding my dad. My mom swears like a damn sailor. So I, I, I my can, mom's the one who taught me most of the curse words I know to this day. She taught you how to have sex too. I, I have a fucking like. Oh, I just said a swear word right there. Sex. Mm -hmm. Basically. <laughs> I feel fine swearing on my mom because she swears around me. It's mutual understanding. My dad, though, I hear him swear every now and then. But like when I'm on the phone and I'll be talking about something, I'm like ah, you know, it's fucking stupid. I'll like in I'll instantly be like, ah, oh, fuck, I should have said that. It's, he, like, it's like I know he he my says it too, my but dad it's like doesn't give me a reaction if I do slip up. It's he doesn't just, give me a reaction either, but it's like I can feel it kind of. For me, it's just like oh, I don't do this, and I, I he's he he doesn't talk like I do. But he has my, a he has a very uh very calm manner of vocabulary. But Fuck, I think that saying swear words, like, viewing saying swear words as immoral is, like, it's just, it just feels, it just feels so <laughs> dumb and outdated. Look, like, clip. obviously you shouldn't use swear words, like, to hurt someone or, <laughs> well, unless it's EB. Or, uh, like, there's no, situations just, where you're not going to use swear words, but, no, like. but it is crass. It's crass because we say it's crass. I mean, yes, but, like, then those words would have no meaning if they weren't crass. That's true. I, I just think, like... Like, the reason it feels so good to say them is because they are crass. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. It does feel good. It really does feel good. Sometimes, I think because I grew up so straight edge, not saying swear words until, like, eighth grade or something. Sometimes, at 25, I'll have realizations, like, oh, my God, I'm an adult. I can just swear whenever I want. And it, like, feels cool. I wish I could remember, like, back when I started this, say, curse words. Because I definitely became, like, I think it was in elementary school. For me, it was a week where I felt like I was a big sinner. I was like, oh, jeez, what am I doing? What am I becoming? And now I do it for a goddamn living, fuckers. Yep. So it was just a waste of time and, and, and moral integrity boosting. Are we, uh, would you say that we are heavy cursors? Yes. Do we, are, are we? I'm definitely we, a heavy cursor. Do we cursor. fucking swear a lot? I like. 
<coughs> I have something in my throat. Fuck. What fucking oh. shit's in your throat, dude? Huh? What fucking shit's in your throat, you dick? Whatever you put in there, Latin. Uh, what were you asking? What were you asking? I, I don't remember, mm. actually. I don't fucking remember, asshole. Oh, you're saying, like, do you see us as big cursors? Yeah. yeah I do. We're potty mouths. I guess I, I do, but I guess, but everyone else I know is, like, cusses the same amount, so well, we're it doesn't not going feel to, like, like fucking dinner parties with people, you know? Oh, you cunts! <laughs> yeah, we're not, like, <laughs> that's a good one. We're not bursting in doing a, pulling a Larry David. You pussy! <laughs> Dude, what I was thinking about Larry David starts crying. <laughs> Curb's such a good show. It, he made that like one year after Seinfeld, and because he's, he's a genius, he has not taken like a. Who's break. Jerry Seinfeld? A character Band that Larry David came up with, but a man who finds who finds beautiful romantic love with a with a high schooler at the age of thirty five. Now, Ryan, I don't. I'm sick of you slandering Jerry Seinfeld with these true statements. Christopher Nolan was right. Love is the extra dimension. It travels through space and time. <laughs> yeah, if you've seen Interstellar. And in, and, in, and in Jerry's case, a few 13 years. But in Interstellar, that most people miss this. So, yeah, they're like, oh, the point of the movie was that love is, like, beyond dimensions. It can travel through dimensions. What, what, the deeper message was that, like, all ages should be able to love all ages. That's what that means. Oh, sorry. 17 years, Jerry. 17? <clears throat> yeah, 17. Double her age, actually. Oh, oops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I thought she was 71. <laughs> Read the numbers backwards. Yeah. Dysle dyslexical. Jerry, <laughs> there I go again. <laughs> there I, I go again. I have deja vu. I feel like we just made that same bit within the past 10 episodes or five episodes. What? Jerry Seinfeld? Jerry Seinfeld slipping up the, I, in the I, same I, way, <laughs> saying 71. I feel like that was in a dyslexia. Sonic Let's Play. Okay. <laughs> I really got a bad cough right now. What's wrong? Oh. Well, I went well. I, I went to several clubs because I wanted to test out this theory of the Delta strain to see if it was real. And so, I guess we'll find out soon. I took I took a test. Yeah. Yeah. When the cough start? Uh, just a few uh, moments ago, before the podcast, like it started to pick up. Okay. So, how are you feeling? You feel fine? Yeah. You, can you smell it and taste okay? Oh, I can still smell and taste the clubs, if you know what I mean. Yeah, oh, yeah, you know oh, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. That that scent does not wash off. No. That sticks around for a couple days. You know, I'm taste. smoking cigars all night, baby. I'm wearing sunglasses indoors, smoking cigars indoors, and I'm busting a nut indoors. Okay? Woo! Sometimes outdoors, well, yeah, if they well, don't let me in the club because yeah, of my flip-flops. I was about to say, last time you did it outdoors, they didn't let you back in. Well, it's because they didn't allow anyone with flip-flops and gym shorts in. I was like, you know what, I'm going to bust no, a nut on the you side had, of your building. You had, you had come down your gym shorts very visible and the clubs have black lights so it glows that's why they didn't let you it wasn't the gym shorts and the flip flops well it was that too but main, it was mainly because of the cum I really uh I went to a club once with once well I've been to clubs <laughs> amateur I remember one time the worst time I ever went was probably with Eddie Burp <gasps> no Eddie no Please, no no, no! no! <laughs> 